I love beer and I live in UK so for me it's not that difficult to get um, good beers from everywhere um, a pub, a supermarket, uh, off license, everywhere but there are lots of good beer which I can't get because it's uh, small, small breweries and local, only local people can get and things like that. So wherever I visit, wherever I go before I make the travel, I normally check um, what kind of local beer I can get in that area or uh, where historic pubs are so I can just um, enjoy the atmosphere. And um, I thought, Wait a minute, I can just um, tell other people how good my local area beers are. So that's why I'm making this video. And uh, the first one today, this is really, really special beer for me because uh, this is a beer I got into the world of ale. Uh, before I drank that, um, this beer, I was a lager drinker and um, I didn't really like bitter at that time uh, but this one changed my life forever because I just totally loved it and I understand why many other people saying bitter is a great drink so after that I tried many, many different kind of aves and uh, yeah, and uh, now I'm an um, ale drinker, so this is really special. Um, this one, Batham's Best Bitter, Best, yeah, Best Bitter, um, alcohol 4.3%. Uh, this brewery is in West Midlands area so it's not quite where I live but it's close enough and um, there are some pubs I can drink Basins, um it's one of um, my favorite pubs are actually serving Basins, and uh, yeah that's where I first drank this beer and I just loved it. So, of course, the uh, cask and the bottle condition are not exactly the same. And, uh, yeah, to be honest, I prefer drinking uh, in a pub from a tap. But bottle is also good. This is really um, good old traditional ale. So whenever you plan to come over to West Midlands area, Black Country area, or North Worcestershire, I want you to try this great beer. The colour, you can see it's uh, golden the smell. It's um, really minty, fruity, it's uh, complex, It's but so pleasant smell. It's not too strong, so that's just um, perfect. It's so feel good. Yeah, feeling really good. And um, I think this says like um, blue and chilled so it's my opinion but slightly colder than normal bitter is good for this one I think mm, smells good so cheers It is um, traditional good um, bit 
car. That's all I can say. But you know, um, hops, bitterness, and um, uh, Burley's mildness, and it's all mixture of. Oh, that's such a great beer. And um, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, not so much things I can say. It's just a, too great to explain. Oh, it's really bad review but mm, I mean the beer is really good but um, my review is not good uh, the pub I normally drink this beer uh, they don't serve um, any meals they only got some um, pork pie but this is really good with pork pie it's so um, refreshing and the pork pie, as you know, is a bit um, fatty and uh, can be quite heavy. So that kind of meal and this goes really well. And uh, I just love that uh, the aroma uh, you feel on your taste buds. It's just um, so... Uh, it's it's not too greeny. It's just um, a great condition of hop, I think. And this is a bit um, beer just changed my life. So I may be a bit biased, but um, if you come over to West Midlands area or Black Country. Please try this one. It's so so good. Okay, um, I try to introduce more of my local beer. Uh, there are lots of good ones, which you can't really get in um your local supermarket or wherever, because they are microbrewery. So yeah, I will try to upload that kind of um video and with more information before I do review, I will think about it uh, because um, today my review is, I know it's pretty bad. So um, I will try the better one next time. Okay, bye.